elements of the architecture. That's what we're going to build. That's the what. Now here's the how. We're going to do this in two ways. We're going to have one big waterfall project, and then we're also going to build the same system of an agile project in the span of six iterations. The only difference is the scheduling. One big project versus six iterations. We're not going to talk about other agile practices. We're not going to talk about daily scrum meetings or adapting or inspecting or anything else. We're just going to talk about scheduling and think about what the implications are. Both projects have the same constraints. Requirements are set. Team sizes are the same. Funding is available for one year. And both are subject to the same uncertainties. And this is the part where life gets interesting. So let's see how these things compare. Here's what goes wrong. First, all the estimates are low. All the planned work takes 25% more time than expected. Second, there's an issue with the source database. One of the tables used, report number two, has 80 million records. The special process they required to handle that adds three weeks to the schedule. In the middle of the project, the database reporting software vendor upgrades their software to version 10. And that upgrade fixes critical bugs, so we need to put it in our system, but we had to do that. This adds three more weeks to the schedule. When we're working on report number three, we find out that several tables in the source database have duplicate data. We have to deal with it somehow. Handling that problem adds three more weeks to the schedule. And finally, production of <coughs> is harder than expected. Guess what? It adds three weeks to the schedule. So are those 12 weeks the 25% more time on the first bullet? These are all separate things that add up. So it's 25% more time plus the other 12 Correct. weeks. Exactly. So at the beginning, the project looks pretty good. Later, not so good. So here's our waterfall schedule. Waterfall project, very simple. People have seen Microsoft Project before? Some of you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very simple, just a list of sequences of this, the project. So under Develop Data Warehouse of Business Intelligent System, we have write specs, reports, analyze the source schema, design, implement the ETL process, develop the business intelligence metadata layer, create reports, test reports, fix bugs, deploy for users, project completed. And when we put all the pieces together, it says it will take about nine months which is great because we're funded for a year, right? So we've got enough room for a three-month schedule buffer, right? Some sizable space of time which we expand. Let's look at the Agile project. Well, we have a problem off the bat because our prediction is going to take 13 months. This is a deliberately pessimistic prediction. I've assumed 20% more effort per report than for a waterfall project. Why? The reason I made that assumption is when you chop any project up into small pieces that have to deliver things, you're adding additional overhead to it compared to if you aren't supposed to deliver anything until the end. The reason is delivery takes a piece of time out of your schedule. 20% might be too pessimistic, but let's see where it goes with this number in it. Because the results are interesting. So you see the pattern of delivery is very different. Right? We develop reports number one, two, three, four, five, and six in sequence, and those are the things that we deliver start dates, edit, and so forth. Report number one says we will take three months, including the initial server setup, right, that first version of the production system. Reports two to five will take two months each. Not so long because we're not building out the data center. Report number six would also take two months, but it's not going to finish in year one. So the planned schedule of the project doesn't look so good. It's taking substantially longer.